it's important to expose your child as early as possible to good music let's introduce uh, children to music at a very young age play different genres of music around the house i mean in in, in the house when you're going out in the car you know always get them to listen and explore various sounds and uh, rhythms as well because you never know every child is gifted i i think every child is gifted and uh, god has given something to every child and you need to tap that and only a parent can understand that and discover that and so it's very very important to give the child that opportunity to listen to those different uh, to listen and explore the various sounds and rhythms and i'm sure the child will pick it up and uh, uh decide what he or she wants and then uh, also uh, make music uh, fun you know it's very important when they when they're young it's very important to make uh, music really um, fun and interesting because otherwise they get very because they don't have the patience children you know they they don't I mean, uh, when utra was a child we put her to for music class at when she was 5 and she went there and uh, she never used to sit and sing she used to jump around she used to play with the dog there was a dog in the house so she used to go there actually to play with the dog not to sing so she used to go jump around on the sofa she'll go, go jump here then she'll jump there then uh, but the teacher was so sweet she said no no let her just do what she wants um, and let her but but she was listening actually she's listening to the class although she's playing it's subconsciously registering there and then after a year or so she herself uh, on her own went and started uh, uh, sitting and singing so it's very important to make it don't stress your child so incorporate music into play times you can you can uh, do some antakshari fun antakshari session so they listen to different songs different film songs uh, you know uh, sing songs together and then you know and important to provide opportunities for learning definitely like i said enroll your child for uh, music classes and and that's exactly what you've all been doing in rtm absolutely uh, amazing so and uh, and that what suits their interest that's also very important uh, initially uh, group classes are beneficial actually because it gives them uh, that comfort level when a child is learning one to one from a teacher there may be some inhibition there's some fear there could be so when they learn in a group it's okay i mean your friends are there you're at the same age so you all sing together it's it's fun but then after a point i mean you need to there should be a one to one is very very important because those nuances little nuances uh, need to be taught and corrected at that point otherwise once you learn it wrong it becomes very difficult to unlearn and unlearning is the biggest headache and it's it's just uh, it's just a mess so so when you learn it it has to be learned perfectly and so that's why it's important um and uh, it's very important to establish a um a practice routine a regular practice routine uh, but keep it fun and uh, stress free uh start with short practice 15 minutes half an hour increase it slowly you know and then uh we need to be very supportive and patient okay show enthusiasm for their musical efforts whatever they do it's nice to be appreciated you know regardless of the um you know what do you say the skill level because every child has a certain capacity some children are naturally gifted some children have uh, a little less but then they can get there with with your uh, you know positive attitude and support so uh, celebrate you know small achievements you know to build their confidence so like i said in the beginning confidence is the biggest player here 
So the moment the child is confident, they do well. So just give them that confidence. Create a beautiful musical environment. You know, uh, it's nice to have a, because like a keyboard at home. Because keyboard is the most easiest instrument. Whatever you tap, you'll get a good sound. Some whether it's a, whether he, whatever you play, you know that it is not going to be abhasrudi, but abhasano uh, it will not come. So <laughs> it will be right. So the child keeps experimenting, but violin and all is very difficult. You know you you can't because once you take the violin, unless you're on the right note, it sounds uh, really uh, bad. So it's nice to have a keyboard at home so that you know they can play around with it and experiment and you know self their uh, self-expression through music. And then it's also important to attend live performances of musicians. Take them. Take them to concerts and uh, performances. This can inspire them uh, and uh, expose them to uh, different musical styles. Take them to all concerts, Western, Hindustani, classical, film music. So uh, all this will really uh, inspire them. And then uh, school is another very, very important uh, place where, you know, you should get your child to participate in the school bands or choirs or, you know, uh, music groups, community music groups, so that they get an opportunity to perform. So performing is, a, again, uh, it's a completely different ball game. Singing at home and singing on stage is completely different. That's where we had this uh, question, how do I get over stage fear? So you need to keep singing. You need to keep singing on stage, face an audience. Facing the audience is a huge challenge. So um, I remember, you know, you, uh, I, I used to practice so much. I'm so uh, energized to perform uh, on stage. And when I sit on stage, you, you just, just, everything just evaporates. You don't know where everything has gone. So the moment you see the audience, you get uh, psyched. So that over... Uh, time uh, you you get over it through a uh, lot of stage singing and that comes over over time and in, and you uh, and and the confidence you need to build your own confidence so that you need to expose your child to uh, those areas and then you have a lot of uh, technology now uh, education labs and games that teach uh, you know uh, music you have software uh, try to get them to experiment. You know, you have a lot of software, uh, interesting sounds. You know, try to uh, get them to express and uh, try to uh, get them to compose music, etc. So, um, the, so that encourage their creativity because every child they they think so differently. So it's it's beautiful. Their thoughts are amazing. So uh, allow them to compose their own music and uh, you know. Well, music is on one side, but I think you need to also, there, there should also be other areas like sports. There should also be a balance in, in life. I mean, for, as a child, you can't force a child to do just one thing, music, music, music. Is, you all have to always practice. You have to give time for other things also, what they like. They like to play. So you need to, uh, uh, you know, give them that space, which is also important that balance helps them uh, helps to maintain the overall well-being and prevents burnout. Otherwise, children just burn out so fast. And that's, uh, that's something you don't want to do. And then, um, you know, yeah, absolutely positive attitude and encouraging environment and parents. Only you can help your child uh, develop, uh, you know, the lifelong love and appreciation for music.